<clears throat> Welcome. <clears throat> it's Matthew David. So if you're here, uh, let me know you're going to join me today. We're going to talk about renewing your mind on day four. I'll just give it a few moments and see if anybody wants to jump on and give me a shout out. If you're watching it on YouTube, subscribe, send me some comments. This might sound crazy to you, but everything I'm really sharing with you throughout this course of renewing your mind in 12 days is something that you could actually put to the test. I don't expect you to believe anything I say at all, but put it to the test and see. Welcome, June. Good to see you. And sunshine, you got some sunshine. I wish we had sunshine here. We've been having rain for three days straight, so it's been a little bit of a reality check that winter is on its way in Wisconsin. So if you are not aware, uh, I taught this PTT, perfect your timing or perfect timing technique over the summer. And it applies very much so, welcome Catherine, to what we are using so far to correct our sight of God or good, okay? Because we know that what we see, hear, smell, taste, and touch Okay, these are reports coming from our physical five senses, and those are anchored into the world mind, all right? The opinions of this world, okay, that's what you could call Satan. It's the outer kingdom. It lurks, and it seeks to beguile those in the middle place. And the whole idea here is to get your heart troubled, okay? Once your heart gets troubled, out of the heart come the issues of life. Hey, Sasha. Great. Great. Yes, we're on live right now, and you caught me. Good. If your heart gets troubled, you know, this has been figured out by many people who are much smarter than I could ever be. You know, the Gnostic Gospels, you know, I read those Gospels several times, and then I brought it into now space, and I cross-referenced it with the ideas of, you know, Einstein and Tesla, and, you know, I was looking at the magnetism, the energetics, frequency, and we get on that level, okay, because everything is frequency, okay? And what you choose to focus on and the feeling space in your heart are the simplified ways of knowing what's going to happen because it's not happening to you, it's happening through you. That's the whole idea. So the world doesn't happen to you, it happens through you, all right? So... Here's what the idea is, is that we are taught to grow up and become adulterated, okay? The word adult is stemming from the word adulterated. It's funny that people can't see the obvious. That's how the human mind is programmed because it's in all fiction language. So, you know, language writes the code and the software. Well, the human mind is adulterated. So what we're taught to do is we're taught to create time, time-space illusion because we're taught to look outside of ourselves. Even when you were young, they wanted to see how well you could see, okay? Put one, cover up one eye and read the chart. Well, it's all programming from day one to get you to look out there and qualify yourself from out there, which is actually complete opposite of what the truth is. So it's the antipode of reality. So the problem now, you're learning this in school as well. Okay, we have a problem. Let's figure it out. Let's find a solution. All right, great. Well, you know, the greatest minds on this planet figured out solutions by falling off into a dream or falling asleep or something that triggered the inner kingdom to bring forth the infinite wisdom that is in the one mind, one power, and one being. In other words, they didn't look to the world. They broke the cube, if you will, by finding it from within themselves. So when you are in a problem state, you're running a series circuit, okay? The laws of electricity apply to the mechanics or the volition of your thought, okay? So we are taught, okay, here you are at point A and you have a problem. Focus on the problem. Now we're going to go to point B and we're going to think along the way. Well, here's the idea. First of all, your mind is creating, your human mind is creating the problem and therefore, it does not have the answer, and it's going to beat you up for not having the answer. How does that make sense? Well, that's what happens for the majority of people on this planet. And you see, the laws of electricity show that every 
uh, path of resistance along the series circuit adds up and becomes the sum total at the end. So our resistance equals reasoning, okay, taking thought for your life. Jesus said don't take thought for your life for one reason, okay, for one specific reason, because you're doing this. It drives you into unconsciousness because you're going in past and future and you're asleep. You're dreaming, all right? And so what the opposite of that is, if you come into the new physics and you come into the truth, is that you are in the mind of God. God is actually thinking you. In well, I'm not sure what happened. I got cut off there. <laughs> it's probably the, uh, the world doesn't want you to, to know the truth, I'm sure. So anyway, I'm going to go back to the teaching and I'll splice these together at the end and we can just post it as one video. So, okay. The idea here is you need to break the continuation. Break the continuation of the material five sense evidence. All right, because wholly and entirely separate from that evidence is the life divine. So we need to demonstrate the life divine <clears throat> by stepping into it. So parallel circuitry is similar to the uh, toll booth scenario. So if you're in a highway setting and you have to come to a toll, okay, what happens is there are multiple lanes open up and then the resistance lowers. <clears throat> so you have far less resistance. Well, that means far less thinking, remember? Far less unconsciousness. So essentially you're going counter space and you're collapsing everything into the now space, into now time reality, that's counter space, and you're taking your power back, and then you're dealing with frequency, energy, and vibration. That's what the best minds on the whole planet, and that's what all the new modern technology is built on, frequency, energy, and vibration, okay? The other model is corrupt. It's so destroyed that you can't even use it in today's world. So this is the new model. So what we do is we are going to break the continuation of the evidence of what is troubling you with what I call the perfect your timing technique, the perfect timing technique. So we're talking about timing. Well, timing, instruments. You learn how to play with a metronome. Okay, that actually is a very good technique to create something called diversion. Now, I learned about diversion when I used to struggle and I had chronic anxiety. Somebody taught me that the way out of anxiety was to divert your attention or your focus away from all of the incessant what-if thinking or thoughts that are creating the symptoms. So instead of focusing on the symptoms and the problem, instead of being problem conscious, you divert your attention away through photography, guitar playing, things that get you outside of yourself. Now, Mary Baker Eddy discovered that to be absent from the body, okay, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So here's the idea. Every four seconds... Humans are stepping out of flow and they go into reasoning. Flow state happens in the gap that's about three and a half seconds. So if you know the answer right now, you're in flow. Okay, just like when you played sports. Somebody throws you the ball, you don't think, you just catch it. Well, that's the omnipotent, omniscient mind in operation. That's before human reasoning kicks in. So we want to operate with that mind and break the continuation of the evidence of the time-space illusion through the five senses that is appearing to be a problem and at the same time correct our sight of good by focusing on truth. Now, it's as simple as this. Every four seconds, I snap my fingers and I focus on the truth that God loves me. That's what we're working on through this whole series is deepening our understanding that God loves me, right? So, instead of focusing on a problem and going off into unconsciousness, I just go like this. God loves me, right in the gap. God loves me. 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 And you do this for about 30 seconds. What you're doing is you are disconnecting and disengaging from the reasoning mind and your propensity 
to take thought for your life and to try to sort it out through the very mind that is causing the problem in your life. And instead, turning to the truth and keeping yourself rooted in that truth so that it can become demonstrated in your reality. So we're going from analog series time and we're digitizing the mind in the parallel now space. All right, so it's very simple. It's a very simple technique. So when do you use this? Well, when you are doing everything we talked about so far, you know, God loves me, focusing on that. That's lesson one, we talked about that. We talked about using the ABC break process and installing, okay, the outcome scenarios that bring us joy and bring us happiness, all right? We talked about doing that. And then we talked about the Lord's Prayer. We talked about focusing on the fact that God is all. You're the descendant of God, which means that the only mind in operation is God. The only cause is God. And then constructing a logic patch around that. You see, if God is all in all and his laws are always in operation and God loves me, then the outcome is always good. You see, that's a logic patch. And we're emotionalizing the logic patch. Now, as you go through your day, when something triggers you, maybe an election or maybe something outside of you that comes in and you feel trouble in your heart, discord, remember, turn away from it instantly. Well, the simplest way to do that is to break the continuation of the material five sense evidence realizing that infinite worlds appear and reappear in the vast expanse of my consciousness like motes of dust dancing in a beam of light. That's the ancient Vedic scripture. And we also know that in my father's house, there are many mansions. See, you are not bound in a time-space reality and you are not burdened with carrying the weight of this world as you were taught going to your indoctrination camps for 12 years. These have enslaved you. So the idea here is that what sets you free is the grace of God and reflecting what God knows to be true is your part of the process. You reflect God or good. That's your job. You're not designed or engineered to solve the problems in life because the minute you try to do that, you are suppressing and collecting those problems. Now, I told you they're going to show up when you start using this process. When things get a little dicey, if you will, you use the PTT. Now, this came to me at the most dicey time that I've had because of all this, you know, C thing, this all this thing that started happening several months ago. I became a little troubled in my heart, and then I prayed about it for many days, and God revealed all this to me and taught me to break the continuation of the material five sense evidence and instead correct my sight of what God knows to be true. So this technique applies it for you. So you're going along your day, something comes up, and you feel troubled in your heart. Well, maybe it's not as simple at that time to say, you know what, God loves me. You might still feel troubled in your heart. See, out of the heart come the issues of life. We have to break that continuation. Now remember, the full technique leads into the ABC break process, and this is a precursor to it. And what it does is it disengages you from the incessant reasoning that is creating the trouble in your heart. So here's how the full technique works. And then I'll let you guys go. So I'm going along my day and let's see something flashes on the news and it really upsets me. It really just hits my human instinct and I become troubled in my heart. Well, instantly, God loves me. 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 Now, ABC break process. It is not it. Could I let go of wanting things to change? and surrender control, yes or no, yes. Could I let go even more, yes or no, yes. Now I go to a place of peace. Now the most important part here is that I get back to peace in my heart. Remember, that's the frequency that you're on. Out of the heart come the issues of life. Okay, now I'm in that place of peace. 
knowing that it's not my job, it's not my burden to carry, it's God's battle, it's not mine. Remember, Exodus 14, 14, if you hold your peace, God fights your battles. Don't go fighting your own battles. All right, now I go to the desired outcome as if I'm looking back on it from five years, as if it passed five years ago. I'm feeling a sense of relief. Oh, the world is so good now. I am living in my state of joy. I am surrounded by God's love, and I'm forever held in his care. And I take that into my heart. So now I am on a completely different frequency on a whole nother level. Now I can carry forward through the rest of my day, and I just destroyed the satanic attack that came against me for my outer kingdom. You see this trigger? It's designed to break apart the continuation of the evidence of that triggering experience so that the discord in your heart is quickly diverted and supplanted with something God is knowing to be true and the appropriate emotional state. Because remember, I talked about it in the Lord's Prayer at the continuation. Rejoice because this is the day the Lord has created. You are to live in a state of perpetual joy because you reflect what is good always because you are the child of the living God. All right, I'm going to let you go with that. Have a good day and a good weekend, and I'll uh, actually see you tomorrow for day five.